a shadowy group of mercenaries or an important tool for Russia on the battlefield in Ukraine. The Wagner Group has been making headlines since Russia invaded Ukraine. It's led by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a Russian businessman and longtime associate of Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Wagner Group is known for its brutal tactics and for long-time involvement in conflicts dating all the way back to Russia's initial involvement in Ukraine in 2014, but also, for instance, the civil war in Syria. The group is also very active in Africa. Now that the Wagner Group has handed over its positions in the town of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine to the Russian military, what's next for the mercenaries and what could their future role be in the war? So in the face of it, Prigozhin says that his mercenaries are out of Bakhmut because they've essentially won the city. He says that his fighters took all of Bakhmut and so therefore their work is done there. Now it's unclear whether or not that is really the case or maybe they're pulling out because they believe that while they were able to take large parts of Bakhmut, it's going to be a lot more difficult to actually hold that city if the Ukrainian military strikes back. Prigozhin says that the Wagner Group went to Bakhmut simply because they are better than the Russian military, because the Russian military was struggling. And it really became one that was very important for them. From a propaganda perspective, Prigozhin kept saying that his forces were making gains in Bakhmut, while the regular Russian military was not able to make any gains in other battlefields across Ukraine. So the pullout of the Wagner Group from uh, Bakhmut could actually have a pretty big effect on the war in Ukraine. It's one of those places where the Ukrainian military was on the back foot. It was one of those places where they were losing a lot of soldiers and also losing a lot of gear as well. The same counts for the Russian military. They also had pretty heavy losses, even though they were making gains there. One of the turnarounds that you could potentially see is the Ukrainian military could be able to consolidate their forces around Bakhmut and launch a counterattack. And that's certainly something that could lead to a shift in momentum. The Ukrainians say fighting around Bakhmut, quote, remains the epicenter of hostility. It's going to regroup, replenish, also recruit more fighters. Prigozhin is certainly saying that while right now he's pulling his forces, he's not done with that conflict. He says he's going to get new orders, presumably, from Russian President Vladimir Putin and will get back into the war once he has received those orders. 